Geeks. Tonight we start out with This Week in Geek, featuring the best and worst news of the week in Geek. We talk about the latest trailer for Terminator Genesis, and boy was it horrific. It was and spoilerific, my friend. You went there, didn't you? I totally did. You had to death. You uh. <laughs> we also talk about Flash with the all-star team-up, featuring Ray Palmer coming over to Central City, and... Another team up in Arrow, which I just learned about because I hadn't watched the episode yet, and Stu gets to spoil the whole thing for me. Hey, hey. <clears throat> yeah, yep. I know. Thanks. Uh, where <laughs> it's a team up between none other than Ray and Oliver, Oliver. not Roy, Ooh. but Ray. Yeah, yes. is it Roy? It's. Ray? I think it's Ray this time. It's Roy. It might be Ron. It's Ray. Is it Ron? Ron. Ronald. Ronald? Yeah. yeah, Ronald. George. Pretty sure it's. Damn it, Nick! You better Reginald? Just do it again. Come on. Come on. What All the right, hell? Here. Yeah, it is. I think it's Ray. Yeah. In the Adam suit, which I'm not sure if I'm married to the name or not, but, you know. Hey. Yeah. So welcome to Geek Eclectic. Yeah, dude. Uh... Let's go! edition of Geek Eclectic Podcast. My friends, my name is Stu, and as always, I'm joined by my good friend, who goes by the name of Nick. Hello. How are you doing, man? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing very pleasant. Try not to blow up the microphones. We've had some complaints. People love my sweaty balls. Yes. Yeah. We are confused by alcohol again tonight. We are drinking rum. Yes, indeed. And uh, it's, it's very pleasant. It's so. delicious. Appleton's, anytime you want to sponsor us. Yes. This of the week is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Appleton's, the finest Jamaican rum. It is. It is. Goes down smooth. It does. I don't know if that's probably not the tagline, but by God damn it, I love it. It's delicious. It'll make you feel good. Why is the rum go? I go to say this, my friend. Why is the rum go? It's not yet. We're currently still drinking. It's almost. It. It's almost gone. It is almost gone. <laughs> we are destroying empty. the bottle quite mm. heftily. We are. So we haven't had a show in no a while. Prisoners. We're we're uh, trying to do more. Trying to get on we've, a more consistent basis. Few, but we uh, haven't posted any yet. Yeah, we were we're very late. We literally too. have I think three in the can that we just haven't put up. Yeah, very late to the show, so to speak. Yes. True. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we're uh, getting on a more consistent schedule. I think we're going to be switching to like a. Probably, we're going to try to release every episode on a, on Fridays now. Fridays, possibly Saturdays, so you can start your weekend off well. Yeah, start it off well. Listen to us, nice peaceful. Go peaceful into the weekend. Indeed. We're stressed, whichever. Either one. Whatever floats your boat. Yes. Hopefully, we'll make you feel relaxed. This will make you want to drink. <laughs> this is the podcast that, that'll that, make you. That doesn't sound too good, does it? That, that makes that, different connotations than yeah. I had planned. It'll make you want to drink. You make me want to smoke. <laughs> good job, Johnny. <laughs> Are you smoking yet? You make me want to smoke. So. So how are you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. How, uh... How has everything been going? I know you you have been going through trials and tribulations at school, going through the nursing program. In fact, I've been going through trials and tribulations. That's right, fluffy little animals that procreate very fast. You really went there. They are born <laughs> pregnant. As, as Dr. McCoy says, they're born pregnant, which well, is a real time saver if you think about it. Your levels are very low, Nick. Is it? Yeah, you, you're being very quiet. This is very How's surprising. It sound? Does Usually it, when Nick talks, he's got to put the microphone like down by like his like junk, so he <laughs> so it doesn't pick me up exploding. Jesus Christ! I'm trying something new here tonight. I'm trying something very new. Yes. Uh, you sound like the guy from Indiana Jones, the Templar guy. <laughs> you chose poorly. Wisely. You chose wisely. You chose Jamaican rum. Always a good choice. But Jehovah begins with an I. 
it does it. <laughs> does it really though? Let's in, let's really take in, a look at it. Here. In Hebrew. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what did we want to talk about first? Do you want to start off with this week in geek or do you want to talk about the flash and arrow? Oh boy. Uh spoiler alert. I didn't watch Arrow yet. So, yeah, I'm going to ruin this for Nick. <laughs> yes, he is. I, 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 we don't, are you sure it. we want to talk about I've it? I've accepted it. Okay. Have you accepted Arrow in your life? I have. <laughs> have you accepted Arrow in your life? Uh, I am Arrow. Well, I'll tell you what, you're going to go to jail. I'm Captain Lance in the house, bitch. <laughs> Oh, no. So this is just a teaser, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I, let's, you know what? Let's, uh, we're going to try a new segment here uh, called This Week in Geek. So let's... Ah, uh, yes. yes. This Week in Geek, um, the wretched, horrible... If you don't like spoilers that ruin entire movies, you really didn't want to catch this week's... Terminator Genesis new trailer after oh. not getting a lot of, again with the not getting any real traction, and the really shitty attempt that they made to spin off the whole, ah, uh, you know Sarah Connor's also Daenerys, I mean the mother of the Resistance, and just now dragons. It I mean come on, <laughs> it's a terrible reach. Oh I know they're. It's they're, the they're really they're really reaching. Dude. It's the cheapest of cheap attempts at yeah. getting you to watch. They something. should just call it Terminator. Reaching and then in really something. small, yeah, and really small like type. Just we're really reaching for this one. We're really <laughs> trying to get anyone to talk about this, please. Yeah. Oh, you anyone. heard of that show uh, called Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> then you'll love Terminator. <laughs> exactly. Game of Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even better, they could have t- they could have done that actually, and it wouldn't have surprised me as much as the fucking trailer they put out after it, yeah. which disappointed me immensely. Nick was uh, so pissed off by this. He he called me today at work. I disturbed his work day, and uh, he was very displeased with what he saw. I, I I asked him. I said, "Hey, do you have any real interest in seeing Terminator Genesis?" Uh well, <laughs> okay. So I this what is this like the second trailer that just came out, or was it? Is it this like is the, the second official trailer? Okay, this is the second. Now I remember seeing the first official trailer, and I was like, okay, this looks somewhat interesting. It's more campy than really interesting. I mean, Exa- yeah, Arnold's exactly. I'm, I'm sorry. Arnie's it, back, and I'm fine with that. Yeah, Ar- yeah. Actually, Arnold's back. Honest, that's that's what that was one of the that's main what driving attention. forces. I was sitting there going like, I don't. I mean, I saw the last one in theaters. I don't really ever have interest in going and be like, you know what, I need to see Terminator in theaters. Yeah. So I was like, oh, Arnold's in it. I, I might want to see this. And that was that was part of the appeals that Arnold caught my attention. Hell That's why I was like, okay, yes. I will see that. But am I going to see it in the theaters? Or am I going to wait for it to be on like a red box? Exactly. I'll take my chances at the red box. Pretty much. <laughs> and, and right now, uh, I have zero interest in seeing it. Yeah, after the second after, trailer. Oh, my God. Holy shit. It's a different movie. It, it entirely it broke the rule, the cardinal rule of trailers, and basically told you what's going to happen in the whole yeah. fucking movie. Yeah. If you guys want to see, if you guys want to know the whole gist of that, of this, of Terminator Genesis. Go watch trailer two. Yeah. Go to our Facebook page. It's on there. Oh, my God. It gives away the whole movie. I mean, we still don't know what Matt Smith's doing in it. Yeah. But we know basically the entire plot right now. Mm-hmm. Dun dun. Yeah. And, and and I'm 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 a little annoyed by it. I hear you. It well, took any interest I had and just went, fuck you, and lit it on fire. Well, when you called me and told me about it, I hadn't seen it yet. So when I got home later today, Which I, I did warn him. I was like, if you have any serious interest, don't watch it made a mistake <laughs> i watched it to which he was like no no you're and talking about it i, must I, I immediately this. regret that decision <laughs> i mean yeah i watched it it, it, it did the most it? it did the most major spoilers of the whole fucking movie yeah. boom so like i would almost bet yeah. that's at least halfway through if not three quarters of the way through the movie yeah we're going to discuss the spoilers here so spoiler alert yes. if you have not seen it go watch it right now pause uh, us and go check it out yes pause right now 
Now okay. that you've come back, Welcome or back. didn't give enough of a fuck to go do that. Did you just have a life-changing moment watching this fucking trailer? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very sorry for you. Uh, <laughs> so, as you saw in the trailer, uh, Sarah Connor, who is Khaleesi. Uh, and she makes a great Sarah Connor. And she's, she's a very attractive Sarah Connor. Yeah, very. Uh, she did, I mean, she says herself, she has trained her son to become a fighter. Yeah. That's what she really did. So when the whole basic plot comes back and they go, oh, no, they're going to kill my mom. i got to yeah. send somebody back. Here, who's the guy that wants to fuck her and make me? Uh, send him I'll back. do it. Okay, I'll, I'll sure. I'll be your father. It's fine. <laughs> Who wants to uh, be my dad? <laughs> so sends him back. And it turns out that the, was it the T-1000 that did the morphing thing? The gelatin yeah, the guy met, liquid metal thing? Yeah, I, I believe so. Okay. So it turns out that instead of Arnold, he comes there and there's a T-1000. Yeah. It's so, okay. yeah. And she pops in, kicks the shit out of him with a truck, yeah. and goes, come with me if you want to live. Wow. Which, great callback. But it turns out that they've been prepping for him to come for like a decade. Yeah. Because at some point, other than that, they sent back another Terminator. Yep. So... They send back another Terminator to basically prep for all the shit that's happening. So Arnie has aged. He's there, and it's a good reason why he's older. Yeah. It does make sense. And there's a part in it where it's like, I've been waiting for you. I like how my Arnold just went really went Russian. Really Russian. <laughs> really there. Russian. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm not a Russian. Stop I've, it. I've what are you wa- doing? I've been waiting for you. That's still Russian. It's been, a long, it's been a long time. He learned Russian. He, He's uh, a Russian Terminator. He spent a lot of time in Mother Russia. I did I did actually giggle at the part where she was like, I've been trying to get him to blend in. And he just smiles way too big. And he yeah. goes, I know he needs work. And then it just cuts to something else. But, <laughs> I think it's trying to be like Terminator 2. Like, didn't he do something in Terminator 2? Yeah. Didn't he do like the crying thing? What do you cry? <laughs> I don't know. I, Hello, buddy. Didn't he do like a weird smile or something in Terminator 2? Yes. If I remember correctly. I'm trying to recall. It's been a while. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. But um, ha- about halfway through the trailer, uh, you see Sarah in scrubs for no fucking reason other than she is. Yeah. And in walks her son. John. Her John adult. Walks in. Son, yep. not her. Like, oh man, my child who is you know, yeah. twelve. You my see John, full on adult yeah. who's been fighting the Terminator's son. Yeah, John. And you see him earlier in the trailer, saying, you know, rallying the troops and sending back his dad, back in time. And mind you, and you you're see like, him huh? earlier in the trailer, and he's all scarred to shit. Yeah. To which, he's still scarred. He still is scarred. Yeah. But there's just you know, playing nice, and then out of nowhere, while they're in a parking garage. Arnie goes, I'm going to shoot this prick with a shotgun. Yep. And does so. And everyone freaks out. Until then you see his blood start to animate. Mm-hmm. And him then lift up as if he was a Christ-like figure. <laughs> and pop back up to center. Gross. And obviously at this point, you're realizing, well, John's not exactly human anymore. Yeah. That's probably the biggest spoiler of the entire thing. <laughs> so her son, who's fighting the Terminators, and later says it in the thing... Yep. Not Terminator, but not man. What the fuck is he? You've, as he put it in the he's, trailer, he's you've like a, always taught me how to survive. So he's like a hybrid, maybe. That's a possibility. He's like a Terminator. Maybe he's a combination. He's a Cyberman. He he pretty much is exactly. He's he has human characteristics, and he's but he's a machine. Yes. So there you go. Hence the Cyberman. Exactly. I, I think that he's he could be a combination of all the Terminators that we have seen so far, like T one thousand and like the T. So he's like T eighty thousand. Pretty much. It seems no, like T eight hundred thousand. They're gonna have a hard time killing him. That's what it looks like. Yes, they are. Like at one point, isn't he like getting sucked into like an MRI, and you just see like yeah, you it's just, just see ripping like the away skin from him get sucked. He is still walking, and it's yeah. still generating more skin on him. Yeah, you, that's, that's a very creepy scene. That is, yeah, just a bit. But at the same time, looks, why he looks would you put skeletal that? Skeletal and muscular, you know, like the like. Why would you put that in the fucking trailer? Why would you tell us this shit beforehand? Yep. Well, now I, you, know you know the villain of the movie. You so know what I'd be go. perfectly happy with if they had the Terminator trailer, and you literally just saw a different angle 
of Arnold jumping out of the helicopter yeah. for two minutes. Just think... multiple angles and <laughs> ramming through the helicopter. I think that's... Termi- Terminator Genesis. You'll see why this is important later. Like that. And it's just that. I think that was my favorite part of the trailer, too, is when he just jumps out of fucking helicopter. I'll be back. I'll be back. I've got to jump on this helicopter and ruin it completely. I need to get them off me. I'll be back. Your son is probably in that helicopter, too, and I'm going to jump on it. Fuck exactly. Your son. And by the way, fuck your son. <laughs> he just crushes the helicopter. Maybe, maybe the right move was to kill her. So, uh, I mean, hey, who knows? Nick, I like that trailer idea. Just repeating. Just repeatedly. Jumping on the helicopter. Different angles. Different color textures. <laughs> yeah. Put a dubstep beat in there. I'd be fine with all of it. And it but, but every time he hits... Every time he hits the helicopter, the music just starts all over again. So, you just keep hearing a constant loop of... Exactly. <laughs> and literally, at the very end of it, just having letters, you'll see why this is important yeah. when you see the movie. Exactly. Done. I guess that's what bothers me with a lot of the trailer, trailers. The trailers now. are killing movies. The trailers point. are murdering movies. Yep. They give away way too much. And I guess maybe that's our fault, maybe for seeking them out, but maybe it shouldn't be. Lack attention, but still. Yeah. Make us, a, make us need attention. Make us need a, to yeah. keep attention here. Keep it a secret. Keep some things a hush hush. We don't need to know everything. I don't, you know, I don't know if that says a lot about us as a people. Yeah, that was just but I, I, I think it shoot. might. But um, yeah, it, I was highly disappointed, and my interest in seeing this yeah. has gone to zero. I agree with you. I, this I, is going to be a red box exclusive if it's seen at all. Well, I agree with you there, man. I, I don't know what they're trying to do with the franchise. I I think until James Cameron can get can come back, come back and get the <laughs> franchise back. Then I only the only then do I think that he that Terminator can be done properly once it's in his hands. Like, and where do you go from this? I mean, literally, it's become so meta that it's just you can't do any more after this. I mean, you could say that the events after, like, let's say James Cameron ends up getting his series back. Let's say everything after two, nothing happened. You know, you start fresh. So you have a clean slate as to what you want to do. Oh God! Yeah. So everything after two, you know, like the third one with the the the, the female Terminator and the uh, Christian Bale. I <laughs> Terminator. do. I, I do have to admit, I did find it funny when he falls out of the uh, school bus or bus or whatever the hell it is, yeah. and just face plants into a cop's windshield and goes. <laughs> he just Looney Tunes into a fucking window. Get it's out. His, no reaction, just get out. He kind of smiles, get out. <laughs> get out. Get out of here, I need this, I need this car. Oh my god. I, uh, I'm just curious to see where it could go from here. Because yeah, you're exhausting all of these possibilities. Mm-hmm. You are, you're messing with time travel itself. And more than they already had. Things are getting sc- screwy as it is. Just... I, when I first saw that the, the the first trailer where you know Sarah Connor rolls through. Oh, and, FYI. Yeah. Uh, you are completely right. I just rewatched part of the trailer. It's John in the other helicopter. He's in the helicopter. Yeah. Here, hang on. I'll see if I can. <laughs> so get Arnold started. jumps on the helicopter that he's in. I'll be back. I'm going to, I'm going to smash. Yeah, there he is. Yep. So you. So we pretty much know that Arnold jumps. Now, on mind, the mind you, he is. Mind you. It, he might be in the actual same helicopter with them. For all we know, True. John could actually be t- proving to be good. It could be another edit. And it because be edit John, us. in the picture, in the thing, is in the, if you're facing forward yeah. in the helicopter, he's in the left front seat. Oh. Uh, Reese, or whatever the hell his name is, yeah. baby daddy, is in the right front seat. Right. And Khaleesi is in the back left seat. And... Terminator is in the back right seat. So, for all we know, it's the same chopper. Yep. They could be in the same chopper, and they and it could be, be it could be it could be the liquid metal guy yep. that's chasing them. Sure. Does it bring a new possibility in the whole trailer thing? Yes. But you know what? I didn't want to fucking know John was a part machine. I didn't want to know that. Keep it a secret. That's like if you had like, like let's say St- uh, Empire Strikes Back came out. And, and at the like end of the now, trailer, you are, I'm your I father. Am your father. Oh, at the end of the trailer, man. I'm your dad. What's up? I mean, don't yeah. get me wrong. I know Vader in German is father. Yeah. But for any American that didn't know German at that time, 
Yeah. It was a big surprise. Exactly. But that's that's like the, that's like. I mean, obviously, that's I'm I'm no, in no way comparing Star Wars to, to, to Terminator Genesis. Why not? Because it's a multi. I mean, Christ, oh, if you want to, be, oh man, it's gonna be. It's amazing. a multi-franchise thing that's yeah. basically in sci-fi fantasy, and it involves machines. It involves people fighting against machines in the first three movies, and I do mean one, two, three, and not four, five, six. Uh, true. Uh, it's a fairly decent correlation, actually. Touche. And John but, and John's entire body could basically be Luke's hand. Yeah, but so okay, so <laughs> so you I can't believe you were actually com- comparing Terminator Genesis right now. Star Wars. I'm not saying it's Star a great. Wars com- is a I'm not mili- saying it's a great comparison. <laughs> I'm just saying you could technically compare it. No, I, I'm just comparing great. That's like a classic movie moment. Mm-hmm. Featuring the the trailer, <laughs> Luke, I have your father. Oh, the Death Star exploded. <laughs> Don't worry, it's I did just, that. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I guess it's, you know, I blame that on how trailers are uh, everywhere now. shown now. So, oh my God, yeah. That that one, I agree with you, Nick. That's a, uh, that's, it's, it's uh, what Frank Reynolds calls trash. I'm trying to see. You know what? Honest to God, it looks like it might be that John is in the chopper with him. Oh, yeah? Because here, look right here. Does it look like the front left window is broken? You're going to somehow crash this. I hope not. This side. Does it look like it's broken? Yeah. Here, hang on. This is like the Zagruder film. <laughs> this, is <laughs> going, this is a Zagruder film? Yeah. We're going, we're going through the uh, Terminator Genesis uh, frame trailer frame. frame by frame here. Oh my god. I'm going to jump on your helicopter. <laughs> Fuck your son. Why is he son of Terminator? Now, why do you cry? Tell me, does that look like a front shield that's broken similarly? Yes. Yes, it does. Thus leads. Well, look at the sparks in the helicopter. Something is going on there. So get, he's getting fired at. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming and he is, Arnold was firing at him. And. Baby Daddy was looking to his left, yeah. whether he was looking back at Khaleesi or not. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But uh, overall, I'm just not exactly sure how I feel about this whole thing. And it's probably just going to be a red box. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it's... If I'm, we had Blockbuster, I'd say Blockbuster, but it's red I'm sure it'll be a fun baby. flick to watch, but it's not going to be... And I'm not already, spending money to go It's already massively it. spoiled. Yeah. That's my biggest bitch. It's hugely mm-hmm. spoiled. I feel you, man. Once something gets spoiled, it's like... T- I'm not going to invest all this time. Mm. Khaleesi. I feel you, dude. I feel you. Khaleesi. Do you ever see that moment where um, she actually looks into the camera? And like one of the episodes, she actually looks into the camera. I, I guess She's she, done it a few times. And <laughs> somebody likes, like, oh, she could just, uh, she could be in the office. Yeah. She, like, looks at the camera. And <laughs> she could be Jim or Pam from yeah. the office. Oh, she'd be a great Pam. I'd be okay with it. Okay Don't get me wrong. I do love Jenna Fisher, though. Yeah. No one can replace her. No. Uh, She'd be a fine Angela, though. I can see that. You know, with those dark eyebrows and the blonde hair. Just don't piss her off. <laughs> She's not a cat lady. I did, She's I, a dragon lady. I did enjoy the... Uh, did you see that the the after show? The Larry whatever, Wilmore or something like that? Larry something after Daily Show? Mm-mm. Uh, he did a, an analogy to uh, Hillary as Khaleesi. Is that the Nightly Show? Yes, that's the show. Yeah. The Nightly Show. And uh, he did an analogy. He was like, uh, recently, uh, a powerful woman has recently come out about how she's going to try and acquire a throne. And it's, it goes to her, and it goes, it goes to Khaleesi, and it goes, no, no, the other one. And it goes to Hillary's picture. <laughs> and uh, he then makes the analogy. He's like, well, they're both married to horny lo- warlords. And picture Bill, picture of uh, Kyle Drago. Uh, <laughs> then it goes, uh, she has been, um, her her throne has been taken by a usurper, picture of Barack. <laughs> then it goes to um, the uh, most terrifying, uh, oh wait, uh, and their dynasty was ended for a time because of the extremely rich, extremely powerful, 
gold heavy family, and it's just a shot of the of the uh, the uh, Lannisters and a shot of the <laughs> bushes, with the powerful <laughs> father from behind the scenes puts his sons in the position of power. Yeah. Uh, the uh, one who that has a picture of Joffrey and Bush, and he's like one who's a mad uh, mad king who did choke randomly at a dinner. Uh, then it goes to the other son, who not who everyone has some support for, but they're not exactly sure why. Who just lost his right hand? It goes to the uh, other guy who just announced his candidacy, yeah. like his buddy Marco something or other. Um, and he's like, and then there's Hodor, and it just has a picture of Ted Cruz. <laughs> and then there's Hodor. <laughs> I was like, that's a great analogy. That's brilliant. That's the best thing is it's a great analogy. Yeah. Like holy shit. <laughs> God, have you seen you have you seen those leaked episodes that came out? Yes, I've seen them all. Really? Yes. You have to do a review on those. I I would be happy to. A spoiler. Uh, spoiler. <laughs> major spoilers. The geek sure. spoils. Yes. Uh, the geek of spoils. Uh, I like it. I think I know the logo for that. It'd be milk that was from 2012. And just bulging. Carton of milk. <laughs> just with that's the, the logo with, 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 with the Geek Eclectic logo. Yeah. That's just a bubbling, boiling spoil <laughs> of milk. Geek Eclectic spoils. I might have to keep that in mind. I think it's good. While I'm doing the designing, that's very good. Mm-hmm. I think oh, we still need God. to do the design for the uh, us talking about Arrow and Flash. You with the hood, you with the speedster outfit on. I like that. It's very aerodynamic. I'm still saying mine was a decent initial. We could clean it up easily. Stick to your day job. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Hey, <laughs> teach me more graphic stuff. I'll be able to actually use something that's not terrible. We'll do. <laughs> teach me some. I mean, uh, I mean, fuck. I used. Teach me some G Kundo or whatever you. I uh, used fucking paint. Do I have Photoshop? Yes, I do. I used fucking paint because. That's not what gonna I lie. Say. I know Back how to use. Back in the day, use, that's I what know. I started out on MS Paint, baby. I know. But I go hard in the paint. I don't know how to put our picture over their picture, but under some of their picture as well. I know you know how to do that. I, I don't. Will, I will teach you the ways. You I know there's a well. layering effect that I could do, but I just didn't know how to do it, so I went with paint. I will and teach you. With it. I will teach you some of the, the most art rigid of dark side. angles you've ever seen. <laughs> some of the most obvious shut-in cuts you'll ever see. Can you see. draw a circle? <laughs> no. No. But who can? <laughs> yeah. Who really can? Exactly. Without a compass? I dare you. No. Yeah. Oh, man. Was it, what, else, uh, what else was new this week? There was a bunch of stuff. Uh, uh, Daredevil came out Daredevil. last week. Finished that. That wow. was quite good. You finished it? I finished it. Okay, I'm still like a couple episodes in. I'm oh, like, so you haven't seen about... Oh, I shouldn't say. Shut up. Don't. Don't even do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do, it. Don't do this to me. I will. I mean, oh, you son of a bitch. I Don't won't. do it. Vanessa. Keep it shut. Keep that fucking <laughs> mouth so shut. So I can not torment you with things. God damn it. I, I gotta say, I love it so far. Where are you, though? In the thing? Like, what's happened so far? God. Like, what's the most recent uh, development of things? I mean, I'm, I'm really early in. Like, I'm, like I just started. Are we talking like five episodes in or less? Less. Oh, okay. he just. So a lot of things. He just uh, met the nurse. Ah, Rosario Dawson. Yes, he yes. just met Rosario Dawson. Very attractive lady. Uh, he was he because he clerks too. Yeah, he got a, the shit kicked Glint. out of him. And he's in the dumpster, and she takes care of him. Uh, I just yeah, I think I just finished watching that one. I, I, I believe so. Uh, I love it it's so far, Nick. I, I think it's one of my favorite shows. It's up there with Arrow, maybe possibly better than Arrow. I don't think it's better than Arrow, you don't but think I so? do think it's quite excellent, and I'm excited about it. It's, I, I mean, I, I've... Another excellent Marvel show. I think it's great. I think it's the best Marvel It is the best show. Marvel, let's be honest with ourselves. I love it Clark Gregg. Best. I love Clark Gregg, yeah. but I'm not a huge fan of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, Daredevil kicks the shit out of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It blows Agents up the water. Uh, Th- and that, I do okay. like that there are references to Avengers, but they just don't say it openly. That's one of the things I was oh, curious cool. about before it came on the air. I was like, are they going to refer to anything that happened in New York yes. to, at the events of the Avengers? And of course they and it's did. Not, it's nothing of a spoiler because you get more yeah. stuff from it, just not a lot. Yeah. It's not well, like, it's not like they're going like, oh man, that Tony Stark, that son of a bitch. Like yeah. these, all these events. It doesn't go in depth, but like you see some of like, um, who have you met? Like name me some of the characters that you've met so far. 
Uh, Bubba is not one of them. We've met, uh, but I haven't. I know eventually we're going to be kingpin. We're going to be kingpin eventually. And yes, he's Uh, awesome. Who have we met? Uh, His assistant um, Mm -hmm. and his partner. Mm -hmm. Uh, What's uh, what's his name? Foggy, I think. Foggy. Yeah. Foggy Nelson. Uh, I mean, you, you get references to like New York, whereas like you've learned that half the city was destroyed and that. Which uh, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize Hell's Kitchen was a real place. Yeah, I you know I, <laughs> I thought it was like a made up thing just for the comics. Until I then looked at I, the I actual didn't thing. It either. Like, it's a real place in New York. It was like such a dope. Cause I, <laughs> I, was I like, didn't know. But. Well, this is how much time we spent yeah. in New York. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We're in fucking Cleveland, Ohio here. I mean, I've traveled New York a few times, but yeah. I usually stay pretty close to I, certain uh, areas. I was across the river it. in Jersey, so I didn't, couldn't see very well. <laughs> I didn't know. All the smog. Um. All, the, all the desolation of smog just <laughs> happened. Uh, but no, it, I've, I've been, I've, Daredevil is amazing, and I really want you to watch the rest of it so we can talk about it more fully. Yes, oh my and God. And far more openly. Well, I, I'll just say this. The hallway fight scene mm. in that third, in that I think it's the third episode. Mm-hmm. That had to be one of the greatest fight scenes I've seen in a while I, since I probably loved, the raid. I, I enjoyed just even the part where he is listening to him talking Russian on the phone yeah. and drops the fucking <laughs> the the fire extinguisher. Yeah, down. there's someone looking at us from above us. It's young boy. Yeah, get him. We need help getting the body up on the roof. <laughs> he's frightened. <laughs> like, just like I, I think my one of my favorite parts was that he smelt like he knew the guy was where what cologne, what he, cologne was wearing, he was wearing, what, what floor he's on. he smoked, yeah. and which floor he was yeah. on. She's like, how do you know all this? <laughs> how the hell can you? T- yeah. How the hell can you smell a guy from three floors down? <laughs> <laughs> like that was great. It, it helps. <laughs> like just those little things like that, but like the the, the fight scene was beautiful. It, it was I believe it was a one take. I wouldn't be surprised by it. It was, it was excellent. It reminded me of uh, it reminded seriously reminded me of the raid and old boy. Oh yes. Old boy kind of has American that one take boy. kind of. Especially the American. Yeah, uh, it's. Um, I thought it was great. That was probably one of my favorite moments. Oh god, yeah. Just, just perfect. Just like I mean, not to bring in a separate thing, but uh, the trailer for Love and Mercy, which has the guy who played Zod. Just one of the cops. I mean, it was excellent looking. Now, d- the question I have for you is: Did, <laughs> did they in fact <laughs> kneel before Zod? <laughs> they did not. Or no, that wasn't the one with uh, Zod actually. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Wait! Oh yeah! They did kneel before <laughs> Zod. My bad. <laughs> no, no, no. There's another. There's another trailer I saw recently. So Zod had, had another movie. It was like the one of them was like. Put me down because they're carrying the girls through something, and they're like, "Put me down." And he goes, "Fine, you're an idiot." And just continues walking. Was he trailer? She's funny that way. That's what it was. She's funny that way. Are you sure it wasn't Neil before Zod? It should have been Neil. Before the movie's Zod. called Neil before Zod. It's a romantic <laughs> comedy. Neil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so d- yeah, I, I Daredevil, awesome. Uh, I'm. Gonna watch some more so we can eventually catch up and talk about it some more here. Yes, we can. Uh, I've 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 already seen that he gets he ends up with his suit, so I've I've already mm. seen spoiled that for myself. But well, so not really. I mean, okay. there's literally a third of an episode that that happens in. Okay. Well, it's cool though. He that he evolves into this. And it's outfit. not the full suit. It's just partial suit is done. Well, yeah, you I see bet the full thing that's coming, but. And that's only from like the opening trailer, but uh, yeah, it does look good. Love it so far, man. Probably the Devil in Hell's one. Kitchen. Oh, man, what what else? Um, yeah, Daredevil is awesome. Love it. Uh, what else came? Out? What's out? What else is out this week? Ant Man. A trailer the for Ant Man came out. Looks pretty good. Paul Rudd. I did, I did like the opening. Like, I'm I'm just want to tell you. Yeah. I'm done. Stealing things, I'm done breaking into yeah. places. Just saying. I'm, I'm willing to do whatever. Um, I want you to break in somewhere and steal something. Yeah, kind of. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that, that makes sense. I did love that. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Paul, Paul Rudd's just got this very quiet humor to yeah. him that just, it, whatever he says is funny as shit. I think, I, I think one of my I other AIDS. favorite. I'll see you crack up a minute. Uh, <laughs> one of my other favorite moments was when uh, he's talking to the, the, I think it's Yellow Jacket, the villain of the movie. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's uh, saying how he's like, a man, man. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, I know, I didn't I pick know. the name. <laughs> I didn't come up with that. <laughs> no, didn't come up with the name. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. I, I see, I love that. He's, it's, I, I think he's got a perfect balance of the he humor. Does. He really does. And the seriousness. I think he can actually, he can. I did, I did actually hear that the trailer that you saw, like a bunch of the trailer that you saw, yeah. was almost a shot for shot redo of Edgar Wright's principal conception for his Ant Man movie before he left the thing. So, yeah. seriously. Yes. They just copy me. <laughs> you know what? Kinda, that doesn't yeah. surprise me one bit. It, it, yeah. I mean, do you, th- I mean, I don't That's know. That's what if, I heard. I don't know how Ant-Man is going to fit I in. I think I heard it from, um, um, oh, fucking, I forgot her name, but Chobach at Nerdist.com. I think that's who I heard it from. Hmm. But yeah, like I, <laughs> I was like, ooh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. I think Edgar, Edgar Wright would have been perfect because if this is a, if been. this is going to be a standalone film, then it would have been perfect. Obviously, Marvel might have plans to introduce Ant Man. He's going to be in the third wave of the Avengers movies. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be a third wave of the films, and they already said something along those lines. And Edgar Wright had been wanting to do this far before the Marvel thing had been put in motion. Right. So his conception, his idea for what he wanted to do didn't fit with what Marvel wanted to do exactly. Mm-hmm. Plans. Mind you, for a trailer and his conception, that's one thing. But the whole movie might have turned out differently with Edgar Wright. I'm a little bummed because I like a lot of Edgar Wright's stuff. I mean, just the Cornetto trilogy. Hmm. I mean, his, his, his the, the shot, uh, all the movies that he did with... Shaun uh, the Dead... Hot Fuzz yeah. and and the uh, at World's End, I believe. At World's End, yeah. Those were amazing. They're phenomenal. He did uh, Scott Pilgrim. Mm-hmm. I loved Scott Pilgrim. That, I, I'm going to do a review of Scott Pilgrim. Okay. Because I'm not going to lie to you, that's quite possibly one of my favorite movies of that decade. Of that decade. It's one of those I sit there and wish that people went more to the theater to see it, yeah. just like I wish they had done with Kick Ass Two. The reason we're, not, we're probably not going to ever see a Kick-Ass 3 to finish off the trilogy is because of low turnout numbers. If I had known that, I'd have gone to see well, it three more times. The, the, <laughs> problem, the problem was the problem with, with Kick-Ass 2 was that the, guy, the, the creator of Kick-Ass didn't have Kick-Ass 2 created. It wasn't written. Yeah, it was. So he, was it? I, I, was I, thought he, I thought he was in the process of he writing finished, it. He hadn't finished the third one. Okay, my bad. But the, th- the problem was that part of it leaked online. And I'm talking like Son a month a before the movie was coming out. It leaked. See, that kind of shit. That... It killed the movie. And I, This is I why wish, we can't have nice things. I wish that that wasn't that way. Honestly, if I knew that it was that bad, I'd have gone to see it three more times in the theater. Because yeah. that's how good it was. I want a third kick-ass. I'm with you. Hit Girl and Kick Ass, great combo. I want to see what happens to Hit Girl outside the comics. Yeah, what's well, gonna happen? <clears throat> yeah, I agree with you, man. I, I, that's that's when I, I would that's on my radar. Need to complete the trilogy. Just doubt it's gonna Ooh. happen. Yeah, I mean, hell, the Hit Girl even said it's probably not gonna happen. The girl who plays Hit Girl said, "Yeah, because of all the piracy and all the stuff, it's probably not gonna happen." God damn it. Which sucks. Well. But hey, let's put out an entire series of Twilights. Yeah. You fucks. God. How did that even happen? <laughs> I don't know. How did I, that I think, happen? I think normally they just said, you know what? Some of these Mormon writers are pretty decent. We should really just put some effort towards them. Because you know what? Let's be honest. Um, Ender's Game. Phenomenal writing. Excellent story. And the guy's Mormon. Yeah. Uh, then you came up with this bitch and fucked the whole thing up. So I'm hoping she made a killing off that book too. She really did. Yeah. What's her face? I don't Who even cares? remember what her name was. Uh, <laughs> Some vampire her? bitch. Who gives a shit? <laughs> vampire bitch. 
Yeah, I uh, I I just don't care for it. I, and I've read the, the fucking books just because I'm one of those people that if I start reading something, I will finish the series. You're trying to like get with a girl who is like no. One of my exes uh, read it. Oh. One of my exes read it and handed me the book when I was bored, and I started reading it and I was regretting it pretty quickly thereafter. And mind <laughs> you, the book isn't that terrible compared to the movie. The movie is just like holy fuck. Yeah. At least for the love of Christ, kill Bella. <laughs> just or at least, or at least, her derp or at least, face. Just or at uh, least cheat on her uh, after the movies are done. <laughs> she's just this like. Uh, Thank you, Edward. Her face. Oh God. Oh my God. I can't stand looking at your fucking face anymore. <laughs> he just kills her in the first one. Oh God. Thank your blood God, smells over. great. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But um, <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> Stephanie Myers. Fuck Stephanie this. Meyer. That's right. Stephanie name. Meyer. Oh. Oh. Why? Pain in the ass is why. Anyways, I need to cleanse my palate after that. <laughs> um, Just did. Um, good job, bud. You know what it feels like it's time for? What time is it? To end this week in geek and start the Flash. Let's start it up. Intro music. Da, 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 da. Talk the Flash. About the Flash. The Flash. So, last episode the of The Flash. Flash. <laughs> the the Flash. Flash. The Flash. The Flash. So, what did you think of The Flash? Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a little drier than I wanted it to be. Yeah. And I, I there were certain parts in it, like when when um, Barry's sitting there talking to um, Caitlin, and she's like, I thought... I thought Central City was the happy one. Why is everyone so moody here right yeah. now? <laughs> I just like those in in series references that are just yeah. great. They make me laugh every time. Those little crossover mm-hmm. elements that I'm having just... trouble keeping up. I'm having trouble keeping up. No, not that. It, everything's great. No, the sex is going well. Oh my god, there's two wow. of them. <laughs> oh, oh my god, there's two of them. <laughs> Do you think uh, Barry was jealous of? Oh yeah, he was. I would imagine that first meeting with Ray. Hell yeah. yes, he was jealous. Yeah, he was very jealous. God, definitely. Yes. <laughs> it's like, it's like I'm. I like how she described it. Um, God, what's her name? I like how Felicity, Felicity. described it to Caitlin, yeah. and just <laughs> she's like, I know. It's like I'm. It's like I'm sleeping with Barry's mind and Oliver's body, which you will never say to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had a tear at that one, Whoa. which you will never say to anyone else. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, to me, I think this was, it was an average episode. It, it was nice to see, uh, it was nice to see Ray and, Ray and uh, Felicity and, and Felicity. Flash. Yeah. It was nice to see them. In Central City. Uh, I just, I don't know. I just feel like the, the villain was, what was the name of the villain? Oh, who knows? But it was the bee lady, the beekeeper, the hive, yeah. hive or something like that. I feel like she, I, I did love how Cisco and Ray were both sitting there after working on a suit and come yeah. up and they go, "Hive," and they just like yeah. look at each other. They look at each other. No one else in the room. When yeah. this happens, it's almost like I don't know if you remember watching like Full Metal Alchemist when at any time that uh, Sergeant, um, oh God, I'm gonna forget his name, Sergeant Armstrong took off his shirt. Everything else in the scene disappeared while yeah. he was discussing stuff. He's like, that's why my immense power and the beauty of the Armstrong <laughs> alchemy. Like, that just happened with those two. Yeah. <laughs> I think I love I loved when he first, uh, when Ray was talking about his suit, he's like, I'm, I'm the Adam. And he's like, are you married, like, to, are that you married to that idea? <laughs> are you married to that? Mm. Uh, <laughs> Your I'm Adam the one suits who does the extremely. Name. I'm very impressed. Yeah. He's never impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. I, I I think Felicity and Ray made the episode. I the villain. Nah. Eh, was that the girl from Walking Dead? Uh, ooh, I would have to look at. I was curious about that. I was wondering if, uh, who Beth. I think or. I will check or, right I don't now. Know. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm looking it up right now. So if you're okay. not, you can take. Your time. I I think that's her name. But to me, the villain was more of like a. It, it, she just seemed to me like a Felicity. Like Felicity even said that she was like, "Oh, I have an I I I feel like I have a nemesis." 
It feels pretty good. I've never had a nemesis before. I've never had a nemesis before. She feels like a yeah. She feels like a ne- and yeah. Like a she villain. was on The Walking Dead. That's who it was. Oh, I knew and her it. name in the show was Brie Larvin. I knew it. I had a feeling that was her. Uh, I, I think I thought she was okay. Yeah, she wasn't bad. Uh, you know, she controlled the mechanical bees and even took out. She even got the best of Barry there. I did like the. It's a bird. It's a plane. Felicity's pop sword. It's my boyfriend. <laughs> nice Superman reference there. <laughs> like, dude, there were some laughs in this thing that yeah. I just laughed my ass off to. It was pretty good. Uh, it, it, uh, it was which, also nice to see Ray is a great the is a great reference to Superman, to which Brandon Routh had previously played. To, yeah, to which he was <laughs> Superman. Um, <laughs> I thought that was great. Yes. Uh, it was nice to also see him in action too. See Ray. Oh God, yeah. Just electrify yeah. the thing. He's like, well, if I go into the water and they follow me, um, to which I, I was actually th- sitting there thinking to myself for a second, if he goes in the water, won't the whole thing that Felicity had said before go, hey, the bees will stay outside the water and wait for you? Yeah. Discovery Channel, lots to discover. Yeah. Very scary world. <laughs> like, wouldn't they just stay outside the water? They would just stay outside the water and wait for him to come up. To which then his suit's fried and they're okay. Yeah. Come on, Felicity. <laughs> Come on, say this in front of other people more often. Uh, good catch there, Nick. <laughs> to which I did say earlier, just to cover catches, I did say Caitlin before when I meant Felicity earlier, yeah, like I, far earlier. I knew you knew it, but I, I, I just needed to say it. It's been bugging me since I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Both of which are extremely Ooh, tasty. Um, but uh, what was the, one of the big... Uh, Things that was was happening. Uh, you're seeing it, relationship issues between Iris and that uh, Iris and Eddie. Oh yeah. Uh, to which I don't know why the fla- like why Barry didn't come to her as the Flash and go, your boyfriend's not telling you about what he's doing because he's helping me. Yeah. And just in the Flash voice, not as Barry, but yeah. in the Flash voice after he had just had the discussion. Like nice? I'm talking like maybe some of the thing, like maybe he's trying to keep in the light. And this literally gone upstairs and just. She gets a text to like go outside. Just poof, he's there. Yeah. The reason your boyfriend's been having issues telling you things is because he's working with me. That's why. I'm the Flash, bitch, and just boom, gone. <laughs> but he also likes her. I know. He has weird incest but thing at the going same, on. At and the he same likes time, and... I felt, I felt really, I felt like this time it was actually him trying to be like, I've let, I've let him into the inner circle. He knows. I'm the Flash. Would you, would you have really Iris revealed doesn't. yourself to Eddie? Like revealed, like I am the Flash. Uh, mm, probably not. Probably not. But Joe said it was okay, so you know you got to trust Joe. Joe, you and Joe we trust. Joe, you motherfucker. <laughs> the Saint Ova man. Wrong <laughs> show. Man. Wrong show. <laughs> Wrong show. <laughs> Crossover though. <laughs> Crossover. Either way. <laughs> I'm waiting for Diggles. <laughs> Yo, the Saint Ova man. Drop, drop, drop in my this house. ain't over, man. If you do I'm, that. I'll it, be your ship. Who's, who's the actor that plays Diggle? Please look that up for me real quick. I, I, I want to speak to speak to him right now. I, I will. In a second. <laughs> um, Give me my crooks. Yes. There we go. Uh, gosh. Uh, where was I? Where, where, what were we talking about there? We were talking about the Flash episode. Yeah. And how I said, sorry, I, I just got I got very sidetracked there. We yeah, you did. Um, it's okay. So, f- f- yeah. So, so Iris tell me and more Eddie are having s- issues, tell me more relationship about, issues. Yeah. Why doesn't you know? Barry Why didn't just, you just walk outside yeah. and go? He's helping me. Yeah. Or the bug, no, eyed, the bug eyed bandits because they had the three hundred sixty degree thing, and oh, <laughs> and Ray God. was like, "That's cool," and he goes, "Or or, or not." But like him and Cisco go, yeah. the bug-eyed bandit bug-eyed looking bandit. right at each other. And just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Harmony, <laughs> perfection. Um, oh gosh! So, what else happened? Oh, Cisco keeps having these dreams. Oh that yeah, he the is... daydreams where Harrison Wells basically replaying the moments from the previous timeline, and that he. And we find it near the end of the episode. He reveals to Barry. Mind you, after Barry has spent the entire episode wondering if Caitlin and Cisco are to be trusted with the information that Harrison Wells... Barry's paranoid. ...is the reverse Flash. 
He's paranoid. Joe doesn't he, want him to tell him shit. Yeah. He, he's well, he's paranoid because he yeah he doesn't know if they're working with him and if they you know he he knows that Wells is the Reverse Flash and he just can't stand just working with him because he, he can't trust him. Exactly. Everything he's doing is he's second guessing things. Mm-hmm. He's you know everything he's doing he is second guessing. Yeah. But um, very end of the episode, which I, I don't know if you saw, I posted a thing on that one, like the very telling ending, uh, ending yeah. words. Yeah. What's in the dream? It's Dr. Wells. It's reverse flash. And he kills me. And he kills me. Like, and damn. then it's that flat. I caught, dude, you know how long it took me to catch yeah. that and goddamn you see, screen? And you see, at the end of the episode, you <laughs> see the reverse flash. That was less than a sixteenth of a second. Yeah. Talk about subliminal fucking. <laughs> that, I had to slow that down to be almost yeah. frame by frame. Well, I saw just the red eyes. Click it. I saw to, the yellow oh, and the red here. eyes. I did, but I'm saying to get that picture that I put up there, I did yeah. a frame by frame fucking frame at one point Wow! because <laughs> I kept on trying I was like all right let's go at, at, at 16 times at, at negative 16 looking, of the fr- you, at this point speed. you're just looking for other images within the image and <laughs> exactly at that point I'm like let's just pre this bitch yeah. um but yeah like I was very impressed and Caitlin's like there's no proof come on I mean and then it was yeah. Cisco's just like I've been having this dream and uh I think that actually turned her to be like <gasps> And I think this is all going to get very interesting. And mind you, I know the preview is like, I need some more yeah. proof. Proof of what? Hey, Dr. Wells. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Proof of uh, me wanting to have sex with uh, Felicity Moore. Even yeah. though she's a fray. Uh, and they, like, I don't know what the hell you're going to cover with that one. Yeah. I did love in the part where say. there's the bee in the fucking room and you see Harrison's foot move. Yep. Like, it you really, see his foot move. And just, I don't know. And the poof. Yeah. You saved my life, Barry. Thank you. I think I should have fucking killed you. I <laughs> know. Uh, <laughs> you should have just yeah. ran in there and just injected him with the yeah. thing. And then he just he grabs the bee midair and just injects Jackson it into, into his fucking yeah. throat. What did you do, Barry? Oh, I, was supposed to, I spent 15 years where, waiting for your ass. And, I've been uh, trying to kill you for the last few months, even though I've saved you. Yeah, even though I've been training you to be I fast. mean, there are some pretty deep problems that he's going through right now. Like, yeah, He's like, well, they've saved your life. So is Harrison, though. Like, yeah. what the hell is going on? It's very strange. And he's, he views Cisco as, a, as like, a son, kind yeah. of? Or is this just bullshit? Is this all I just... I think he really does, actually, view Cisco yeah. as kind of a son. Like, I think I think yeah. Eobard Thawne really does. And I did like the very telling ending with um, the lady from Mercury Labs. Uh, Fifteen years ago, it's like he was a different person. Mm-hmm. After Tess died, it was like he was a different person. Yeah, well, cause it's because he is a different body person. Is bitch. taken over it's by because, someone else. <laughs> it's because someone basically took his skin and was like, "I'm now yeah. Harrison Wells." I'm wearing a Harrison Wells suit right now. Pretty so. much. Yeah. Well, that's that's it for Flash right now. That's it for um, Flash. Which I although thought was, I did, it was okay. I, I have to go back one more second and say I really did like the uh, part where they all walk into the restaurant and go. And Iris is like, "How'd you get in here? I mean, we've been trying for months to get in here." And, oh yeah, and Ray's just like, and you walk in and it's empty except for the servers. <laughs> They're just like, huh? Just like, I thought I thought a nice private, uh, quiet dinner would be nice, so I bought up the entire restaurant. Too much? Yeah, honey, a little too much. <laughs> a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved when when like Barry's having issues, and he's just like, I have to, I have to use the bathroom. I have to use the restroom. I'll be back. Yeah. And just walks in the other room, and Felicity's like, I have to um, pee. And just leaves. <laughs> and just, I have to pee. Uh, and goes to confront him. I'm like, what the hell's going on? And he kind of yeah. gets the lowdown of what's going on. And um, Paul Maria sticks his head out and goes, hey, guys, uh, do you mind coming back in here for a second? Because it's getting really uncomfortable. It's getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> it's getting really uncomfortable. Iris and Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> and they're sitting there, and they're like, uh, he gets a phone call after, after, after Iris leaves. And says, I understand that, but um, if you want me to be your person, you have to tell me all this shit and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. What a picky bitch, number one. Yeah. But um, she leaves. They get the text. They get the message of like, oh, shit's happening. B thing. Um, and <laughs> Ray is standing there and goes, everyone else leaves. And I think Felicity and him are just staying there and goes, huh. Well, only 17 more courses to go. <laughs> okay. And just they just walked to the yeah. table. 
All right, that's oh it for Flash. Gosh, yeah, now I'm going to be great. spoiled by Stu for the next 10 minutes about Arrow. Oh, boy, here we go. Uh, so I, I think Arrow uh, takes, the, uh, takes the championship this week uh, for the best episode. Good. I don't um, want to see it. Yeah, well, you're going to find out here. You're going to find out what happens. I'm just going to skim certain parts. So spoiler <laughs> alert for any of you out there. Uh, so this episode, okay, if you guys remember the last episode, Oliver is in the uh, police truck. The with paddy wagon. The paddy wagon. With, paddy wagon. With, with, with Captain Lance. He was and, out of um, his depth. In yeah. the paddy wagon. He was out of his depth. Mm-hmm. Scuffy yeah. from, you're out from of your Star depth. Trek. <laughs> James no. Duhan. Hey, no, 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 no. You listen. Hey, you're out of your depth. Get out of, get out of my, get out of my show. Hucker. Get out of my show. DJ Hucker. <laughs> uh, so, Oliver and uh, depth. Oliver and Lance are in the paddy wagon, oh. and he, he's telling him that he's out of his Where's depth. And you know, you sh- you can't be doing this. You're out of your depth. You can't be the arrow. You can't be taking the law in your own hands. You think it's okay to be a vigilante like you, my daughter? You, you killed my daughter. You. Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I hate you. I'm going to depth. And, uh... Fuego my ego, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to hear him say that. <laughs> um, just out of nowhere. Harry Dresden's my name. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, the, the paddy wagon they're in gets, uh, gets attacked by... An arrow. The arrow. The but arrow. it ends up being Ray or Roy. Uh, Roy my bad. It's up being show. Roy. Same show, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong guy. Ray and Roy. Yeah. <laughs> Begins with an R. You got Arsenal. Yeah. Attacking it in green. Arsenal in green. Yeah, so Boy. Roy is dressed up Christmas as the arrow colors. and takes the fall for. Like diamond Oliver. tap. Anyways. <laughs> Jesus, can I get through this? I didn't interrupt you. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> God Go damn. for it. I'm putting the mic down. All right. When it goes Lance, Nick just loses his shit. Um, and yeah, this, he would have loved this episode. This he was, was heavy Dresden. on the Lance. He was Harry Dresden. Yeah. He's heavy on the Dresden. He's a only practicing wizard in uh, Chicago. Yeah. Installing. So, openly practicing, mind you. Openly. I, I now leave you the floor. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So, <laughs> so this episode opens. Roy is convicted for being the arrow. And throughout this episode, you find that Captain Lance is just obsessed with catching Oliver. Uh, Oliver is, is pretty much cleared of having any doing with, with being the arrow. Say it. But he's out of his depth. Arrow, you bitch. At I know first, it's not Roy. At first, you think Oliver, excuse me, is out of his depth. But he... Uh, well, Ray takes the Ray takes or bleh, Roy takes the fall, and uh, Oliver's like, you know, why are you doing this? And he's like, well, you saved me once. It's time for me to save you. You should have then replied with, yeah, I also put an arrow through yeah. your leg, bitch. How's that sound too? <laughs> Actually, dude, I uh, fucking got electrocuted a couple episodes back, and you didn't give a shit. But you know, I'm hey, just saving your exec- life right now. The executive producers, as you would have heard if we posted the last episode, did come back and say that was our fuck up. I know. Sorry. I just I just wanted to point that out. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> Poor Roy. Uh, so, anyways, Roy Roy takes the fall, uh, and Oliver is pretty much cleared. But through this episode, you're you're finding that a um, another meta a meta human is running amok in Starling, and he's killing everybody who's getting in his way. I think so. Star, Star City, Starling. Because and the comics is Star City. It is Star City. And yeah. Ray had said he wants to change it to Star City. I don't know if that happened, though. The renaming and the re-everything. Did it happen? The, I don't is it, know. I think it's like, still Starling. I don't all that clear on it. I'm going to yeah. check. Okay. Well, I, I will... Um, for, for, I'm picking up yeah. the audio right now. Do you hear me at all on things? Probably, or, Nick. Excellent. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, do, I hear you. Uh, we'll just call it Starling. Whatever. I know. It's star, styling, potato, potato. Styling. Yada, yada. So, so you have this metahuman running around. He's killing people who get in his way. And he has this, like, Superman-like heat vision. He's just blowing people up. Plasma? Yeah, it's like a laser. I, or, like, yeah, it's some sort of plasma. I, at first, it looked like the heat vision straight up. Like, he's just evaporating people with it. 
Uh, so right away, you could tell this guy was a metahuman. And so now you, so now Oliver's got to deal with this, and he's also contemplating with, uh, contemplating about breaking Roy out of prison because he's going to prison. <laughs> he's the arrow. Uh, so you have Oliver kind of in the middle, of trying to figure out what to do. Uh, he really wants to save Roy. He doesn't want him to get attacked. He doesn't want him to get killed in prison for because. Everyone, because Oliver has put away a lot of people, and there's a lot of people who want to do uh, do damage to the Arrow. And if he's in prison, he's gonna get fucked up. But uh, so Roy ends up, in fact, going to prison. Yeah, at first you're like, oh, he's out of his depth, but he fights a bunch of prisoners, and he actually like does pretty good until he gets gashed on the back pretty good. He gets. Yeah. But he survives, um, which upsets Thea. Thea's like so upset. She 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 keeps like you know pleading with Oliver, like oh god, you know we need to do something. Oh, you know he he can't last very long in there. So Oliver's just having a hard time dealing with it. You know he, he Oliver knows he cannot deal with he can't, be, he can't deal with this metahuman and he can't be here so he enlists the help of of ray palmer the atom to help uh take care of the metahuman situation and at first ray uh goes up against the metahuman and he kind of uh gets his butt kicked at first uh the problem is is that he's relying too much on his tech and he's not relying on his his awareness uh oliver says you know i you know yes i have these tools i have my arrows and my and my bow these are just tools i am the weapon so i cannot rely on my on don't rely on your technology don't let that be your crutch you need to rely on yourself and later on in the episode uh we've um The metahuman and Ray end up going toe to toe. Uh, it's kind of a cool. It's kind of a cool situation because uh, they set it up so that Oliver has control of the suit from the from a, a makeshift arrow cave. Now, mind you, fucking quiver. You mean a fucking okay. quiver? Mind you, okay, the quiver. Boom. They're, no, honestly, you, the, in the Wikipedia, in, in the it does say of the episode, cave. <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the middle of the, in the beginning of the episode, the the quiver <laughs> gets raided by uh, by Lance. The, they're in that verdant club, and they're talking about what to do, <laughs> what to do about uh, Ray or Roy. God, I keep confusing the fucking two. Roy Palmer. Man. <laughs> and that Ray. God damn. I'll just say Arsenal. Ray they, Arsenal guy. They, <laughs> yes, it does not help that you have two characters that have the similar have a similar name. But yeah, it is uh, one letter apart. Yeah, I do admit. It's kind of hard. It does um, help, help nothing. So th- they're trying to figure out. They're all like at uh, verdant early in the episode, trying to figure out what to do, how to get. You know what to do about Ray. Uh, God damn it! Trying to do, trying to figure out what to do about Arsenal and how to get him out of prison. And uh, in comes Lance, and he's like, "Y'all out of your depth. Uh, I got a warrant here, and uh, I know you got a little something going on in your basement there." So they all, so he raids the basement. He finds the arrow cave, and he's like, "I got you now, you son of a bitch." <laughs> he looks at looks at Oliver. <laughs> that was probably one of my favorite. That was one of my probably one of my favorite moments from that episode. I got you now, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so, but so they end up trying to trace like some fingerprints in the air in the uh, quiver. I almost said air, okay. And they find that uh, that Roy's fingerprints are the only ones in the arrow in the arrow cave slash quiver. How? Now. How was this here? And we never knew Oliver's about it. Oliver's pissed because he's like, what the hell? What are you guys? What, what? He, knew, he finds out that Felicity and Diggle ended up wiping the, oh, wiping the place. So Oliver is cleared. So that's how he's cleared in the beginning of the episode. Uh, but I think my favorite part was near the end. 
uh, Ray has his rematch with the metahuman. This time it's Ray, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's the correct Ray. The correct it's, the, Ray? It's, the, it's the Adam. <laughs> it's the... <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so Ray ends up having his rematch with this metahuman guy who shoots lasers out of his eyes. And uh, at first he's kind of getting his ass kicked. Um, well, I'll back up. Uh, Felicity is actually uh, at the scene. She's kind of been do doing a little bit of an investigative work, and she ends up getting caught by this guy. And uh, basically Ray shows up, saves her, tells her to get the hell out of there, and he ends up fighting the guy. Ends up getting his ass kicked. The guy like breaks the shield, like the the shield on his uh, his helmet, so it's all cracked and shit. And uh, Oliver's kind of talking to him. He's like, he's like, I know you can take a, a beating, but you know you need to remember what happened. Uh, you remember when you took that arrow for Felicity? That's what heroes do. Got to remember that five years ago I was stuck on an island. Okay, stop it. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. At this point, like eight every, years ago. At the beginning of every CW show. Um, <laughs> Five years ago. Five Arrow years started. ago, I was the fastest man alive. Nope, this year, I'm not the fastest man. <laughs> Just do a super cut of all those super My CW name shows. is Barry Allen. Oh, my God. You're the fastest I'm man in the world. The Flash. Just get through the intro. How you doing? I can still oh talk God. at super speeds. No big deal. Well. <laughs> Getting back to, to Ray's fight with the metahuman. It was proposed. It as was a awesome change. because uh, Oliver was controlling the suit at first. Control. Like he, he had like control of it within the, the, the second arrow cave. Cause Which they he did always, I did like that they did a throwback. I haven't seen it, but I'm assuming it's probably the same spot that they had made the secondary quiver spot slash arrow cave whatever the fuck I want to call it I guess the secondary arrow cave is pretty much was it do you remember season two when they were like yeah there's a second spot I use that you guys don't know yes about. I remember was it the same spot no damn it well, that would so it, fucking perfect so, I, I apologize it wasn't so much a second arrow cave as it was just Ray's Palmer Industries Ray's office <laughs> Okay, At first, was. I thought it was a second area. Well, <laughs> that's well, a very odd it? cave that's in a skyscraper. Well, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you remember we just set up shop here and just call it the quiver, and, you know, that's cool with me, uh, if it's cool with you. Uh, well, that was one of the issues, is that Oliver wanted to go to one of their second safe houses, but Diggle was like, man, they're going to be tracking you every move, man. This ain't over, man. Uh, this ain't over, man. <laughs> so, uh, going back to going back to race fight with the metahuman, he ends up kicking the guy's ass. He finds his courage and beats this guy's ass, and he takes him back to Central City, and has uh, Cisco lock him up in a metahuman prison, the little metahuman prison they have underneath Star Labs, and. Uh, a meta cell. Now, Cisco poses this question. Um, I, supposedly, the guy is from Central City. The, this guy who shoots lasers out of his eyes. He's from Central City, yet he wasn't in Central City when the particle accelerator exploded. So how did he get these powers? Perhaps there's some more widespread event. So Just like this, how Cisco's character is actually a hero in the comics. Oh. Did you not know that? No, I did not. Oh, yes. He is an actual hero in the comics. There we go. Well, it seems, it may, it seems as though that the uh, particle accelerator is just not central to Central City. It's, you know... More so, it seems to have spread to Starling, possibly. Or who it's, knows? It's become a global phenomenon. Yeah. They're all so getting out of their depth. It's getting, yeah, it's getting heavy. It's getting, it's getting way heavy. out of our depth. He was, uh, uh, he's vibe in the comics. Um, oh, that's right. Boom. God, how did I forget that? Because you're out of your depth. I'm out of my depth. Oh, my God. I'm way out of my depth there. <laughs> 
You forgot that obscure character. Jesus, I forgot that it's very a obscure DC character. Son oh, of man. a bitch. <laughs> Way out of my death. Holy shit. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, I think, okay, the end of the episode made... The, the end of this episode made the entire episode. I'll just say that right now. Uh, it's a very effeminate costume. So are, are, you, are you ready for this? I, I'm almost ready, but here I was going to tell, oh. tell you what his abilities were before we did that. Okay. Uh, above average agility. Skilled hand-to-hand combat, sonic vibration manipulation, uh, super uh, superb breakdancing skills. I swear to Christ, it's one of the things. I can see that. Uh, seismic powers, molecular vibration, induced image distortion. Impressive. There you go. All right. Now tell me about the best thing ever. Okay. Are you ready for this? Uh, no, but I'm, I'm here. So. Co- we'll cover your ears because there's a spoiler alert. I'm holding a mic. I can't cover. Okay. Well... Put the mic down. Drop the oh, mic. Depth. You got depth. There you go. That's what I thought. You got depth. All right. So, at the end of the episode, Thea is in her apartment and she uh, she's like drinking some wine and she turns her head and she, who does she see standing in her apartment? A Raz Al Ghul. So, she's looking over and he, he's like, do you know who I am? And she's like, you're the demon. He's like, I'm the demon's head. Like the way, the way he said it was like, I'm the demon's head, you bitch. <laughs> Get it right. No, no, stupid. I'm the demon head. God, I'm really? God. I made an impressive your, entrance and you're calling call me. Is, you're going to fuck up my name. Your father's Merlin yeah. or whatever his name is in Arabic. I've yeah. forgotten it already, but still, who cares? My name is Cooler and I'm Cooler. Thank so. you. And I'm cooler than you. You so, suck. Get it right, demon <laughs> head bitch. Yeah. God. <laughs> God. The I was demon. going. I was going to intimidate really? you, but now I'm just so pissed off. This moment is over. I might as well kill you. So she, so she like she sees him and she starts to freak out. She throws a she throws a butcher's knife at him, which he catches with his bare hand, blade side. No, that doesn't hurt. Him. Yeah, he's got the Lazarus pit. He's all good. He just catches it like it's nothing. And then he just, like, so, like, they fight a little bit. And she's clearly, she's, like, shocked at how good Roz's fighting is. And she's, like, oh, shit. She's freaking out. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have uh, just, you know, taken it easy. and maybe just. should have gotten trained yeah. first. <laughs> maybe we should have just talked <laughs> instead of me throwing a fucking knife. Uh, but he, like, dude, he violently, just brutally... Bashes her into this glass table, like he choke slams the bitch into, <laughs> like Undertaker style, into this glass table. Like that alone would have killed her. Like, the, like it, the, if they used a dummy for that or a real person, I was like, holy! F-. Like my reaction was like, holy fuck! I was like, that. Like the way she landed, it was like on her. Like it was like more, more like. Upper neck, like up upper body, like that. Yep, that's, that's not funny. good. That's funny. Yeah. Um, Demon <laughs> head, straight up. Well, just so, dripping some Lazarus pit juice in her mouth. Well, get this, get this. <laughs> <laughs> he just got a water bottle from the top of a mountain that's still cold, <laughs> and not, magically it gives him the ability to beat Gatorade. No, you're not going on me. You're not going out on me yet. Gatorade. <laughs> He just he just sweats it and uh, it He's like, You're not going out on me yet, bitch. I'm, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna choke slam you through this glass table again. Okay, so he violently just bashes her through this goddamn I was waiting for you to say violates her and like <laughs> it got to a dark place. Cause you know no. what? Starling's a pretty dark fucking place. Yeah. With how you described it. I was expecting something slightly different. But I'm glad it was just no, he, throwing her through a table. He just, yeah, head. he just violently bashes her, oh choke slams her through this table. <laughs> and uh, if you did, if you thought that wasn't enough, he takes his fucking sword out and he stabs her, and he kills Thea. Episode ends, <laughs> and then the bike drops. Yep. Oliver is going to lose his fucking mind. Holy shit. It's going down. It's going down. 
So with this piece of information, Nick, what do you think is going to happen? I think number one, Lazarus Pitt. Yeah. And number two, I think Oliver's going to join the league. I left. Wow. I left out a huge piece of information, and I'm sorry. Uh, so, as, okay. So Roy is Roy is, is in prison, right? Not Ray. Yes. <laughs> yes. Roy is in prison. <laughs> And he ends up getting shift. <laughs> he ends up actually getting shift. He gets shift as well. No, you said that. You said that. You said that. You said he was doing great in the fight until he gets yeah. shift. No, 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 no. He gets in a fight. He gets stabbed, but he lives. And then he gets shift. Yeah. And then, so then later another, in the episode. So then later in the episode, he, they're walk- <laughs> I can't believe I left this out. I'm sorry. So they're walking down a corridor. And like the, he's like paranoid because he's looking at all these prisoners. He's looking to see some of the guys that attacked him earlier in the episode. And... This like this prison guard pushes him to the side. He's like, "Look, look ahead, inmate." He's like, oh, "I'm sorry." And Roy's like, "I'm just trying to keep my head on a swivel." And the guy's like, "Yeah, I bet you are." And then he takes out a knife and he stabs Roy. The policeman. The the, the guard the shifts. Guard. Roy. Roy. God damn it! I did it again. This could be like a drinking game. It is. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm he shivs Roy, and Roy just falls over, just bleeding, just coughing. And then um. Did Roy look up and go, "This ain't over, man." <laughs> Saying, oh, bleh, bleh. Blood out my mouth and the ears <laughs> for no reason. But that was happening. Just the over, blood. Man. Well, but obviously before Thea dies, uh, she finds out from Lance that uh, Roy ki- was killed. A dead Roy too. Roy is dead. Holy shit! <laughs> and Oliver, Oliver is just like torn to pieces, Holy shit. and so is and so is Thea. Except and for Thea's not torn to pieces well, for long. Well, <laughs> she gets torn into pieces. That's for sure. <laughs> Woo! Thea gets cut up. She gets torn to pieces. Thea's fucked right. up, but she ain't fucking torn up for that long. She's dead. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, well, I have a <laughs> good surprise for you, though. Oh, Bring the surprise. I, this, this episode brought a lot of twists and turns. I, uh, um, what did Malcolm do to save everyone? Did he go so, back in time? Did he have no, his time? Did no, he, no, no, did no, he no, have no, his no. temporal uh, wristband? No, no, no. You sure? No, 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 no. It's a time manipulator. No, no, no. Fresh in the hands of a time manipulator. No, wasn't Malcolm. So, okay, so. Katana? No, Is it no, fucking no. Katana? Nope. No, 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 no. So. Roy is uh, really high Roy, Roy is, Roy. Here's, alive. Here's, here's number one. Here's the thing. Is Roy dead? No. Nope. But you know who's about to be? Thea. Thea. <laughs> it turns out here's who's the thing. gonna kill all of the prisoners and prison guards. Here's the thing. Uh, Oliver finds out that Roy. <laughs> Roy Roy lived, and that they had an Argus agent pose as this guard and just stab Roy. Exactly in the in a, an area where he would be able to spit up blood and, and be okay and live through it. Yeah, he actually just gave and blood capsules from a Halloween outfit thing. Yeah, here, just take this blood capsule. Here, just be spit right. these out in five minutes. You'll it's be fine. good. Just say you're gonna yeah. keep your head on a swivel. That when I push so, you, that's when you bust the capsule. He stabs him. In, Diggle's like explaining this. Like he's like, yeah, we had him an Argus agent. He stabbed him in the right place, so it, it would at least. Stop his breathing for a little while, and they show they show Cold like death. they show putting Roy like in a in a bag, you know, wrapping up, put his dead body in the morgue, and then um, yeah, he lived. So Roy's alive. He's like, don't, I don't want to tell Thea I'm out. Just, just tell her I said hello. Tell her I'm still alive. Nope. No, no, nope. she's not going to hear that, bud. Shit's she too late. <laughs> yeah. So fuck uh, each season, the queen member dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> Thea's dead. Sure, sure. Let's say she's dead. But on the preview for the next episode, Thea's <clears> alive. <throat> uh, th- it looks like they end up going to th- traveling to Nanda Parbat to resurrect Thea. Because Oliver, it shows Oliver with Thea Tame. draped in his hands in like <laughs> in like a burlap sack, sack, and he the, burlap sack. Yeah, you merge those two words in a different thing. It's, it's the rum. It's the rum. Uh, so he's, he's carrying Thea, and uh, I think he might use he might use Raz Al Ghul. He just might be using him just to say like, "Okay, fine, you win." And he's just using Raz just so he can resurrect Thea. 
I have another theory here. Taking the demon head. I think Sarah is going to be resurrected. Because she's supposed to be coming back for another spinoff series. I know. So I think I'm we're going to be seeing her somehow. To that. Yeah. So that that's what happened with Arrow, man. It was crazy. So super exciting. You'll have to watch. I got up and you might not be you super might not be exciting. as wild since I just uh, spoiled that for you. Uh, but don't worry, I'm ready for it. Yeah. You might be a little out of your depth. I don't know, man. I'm out of my depth here. It's heavy on the lance. You're gonna love that though. That's why I knew you were gonna. You're probably gonna love this episode. Very, very heavy on lance. I got you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's my favorite moment. Oh my god, he's just—he's trying to go after Oliver very hard in this episode, man. Just, just watch the preview. Yeah. The blonde walking does not look like it's. Uh, uh, I predict looks like Sarah. Sarah. Looks like Sarah. I think Sarah. Sarah's coming back. Sarah's back. Sarah's back. Sarah's actually going to do a guest starring role in *I Zombie*. Really? Week. No. Oh. <laughs> I got it. Back from the dead. Got oh, it. A Boom. zombie. I'm out of my depth. Then. A zombogini. A zombogini, then. A zombogini. A zombogini, then. Oh, yeah. Take the bat pod. A lot less conspicuous. That's not conspicuous at all. Here, take the bat Shall take I prepare the, the bat pod, sir? No. Nah. In the mid- middle of the afternoon, Alfred. A little, a little conspicuous. The Lamborghini. The Lamborghini. Yeah, the Lamborghini. Lot, that's a lot less conspicuous. Thank God, Master Wayne. Go out in your hundred fifty thousand dollar car, you stupid bitch. I've got a bunch of copper pennies in my mouth, and I can't talk right now. I just taste metal. Yeah, it's just, just straight up metal. <laughs> it's just straight up metal. That uh, a lot of metal. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because we're trying to make these shows a little more time consumption. Yes. Holy shit, we've uh, got over here. How badly? Um, You're looking at the time. I can't tell. Badly. <laughs> Poor, <laughs> poorly, poorly. Uh, well, that that does it for us yeah. this week. It's gonna um, do it. Uh, so basically, uh, find us at geekucpodcast at gmail dot com and on our Facebook page at I think groups slash yeah. Facebook slash groups slash. Well, we're, we're something. Just, just Who the look fuck up, knows? Look up Geek, Geek Eclectic. Look up Geek Eclectic. Bar. It's the one with the cool yeah. logo. You'll find us. We we're always posting like new trailers, articles, that things like that. So yes. Check it out. Mende Pabot. Yes, we'll travel to Nandapabat every Friday to resurrect our show. And yes, because <laughs> it, it's dying. <laughs> no, I, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, uh, so we're, we're going to be more consistent with uh, getting our, our uh, shows up. So. If this episode gets up, yes, we will. Yes, it will. Yes. It'll rise from the last risk pit. Yes. Uh, well, uh, you guys have a good one, and uh, we will talk to you next time. Yeah, talk to you next time. Slash talk at you next time. And just remember, remember this if anything else. Don't be out of your depth. This ain't over, man. All alone, dwelling a new escape. Suicide's on the way. You want to die too late. You start to think about the alternate round I'll start to hear what you're all about Grab a hold of town before it runs out Try to live without a doubt Tell me your story Tell me, my friend If you already told me Then tell me again Hey, geeks. This week we'll be talking about the fuck motherfucker. (laughs) Piece of shit. (laughs) Fuck you.